Hi, I'm Bob Magnuson, and in this edition of Readworks, I'm going to show you how to get some ethnic instruments without really playing them. Sometimes I get cues for films and things that have to be done very quickly. I'm doing a, a film cue for a composer and filmmaker in India, and in this film cue I'm playing oboe, but because he wants a Shanai kind of sound, I can take a device in Waves plugins called Sound Shifter. It's a small little device, a plugin of course, that will let me shift the pitch. Now it doesn't shift it as to make it very aliasing or what they call Mickey Mousing it. It does hold the true character of the sound. Let me just play you the track first and you can hear what we're dealing with. Here's just the oboe straight up. Okay, you got the idea. Now I'm going to solo the uh, oboe and I'm going to have a double track. Here, I doubled it. Let me enlarge it. You can see both tracks. Here we go. Now, on this one, I have the sound shifter. And I'm dropping it literally an octave. I'll play it without the other oboe. Here's solo. Just so you hear the timbre of the sound. It almost sounds very much bassoon-like. Now here it is with the oboe. You can hear two instruments doubled like that. There's a lot more thickness in that reedy sound, the air. There's by itself. Take it a step further, I do it with the bass clarinets. Here we'll go to the bass clarinet part. See what we got. Okay, here we're on the bass clarinet part. Now I muted the oboe and the octave lower sound shifting oboe. Here's just with the bass clarinet part. Now here's the bass clarinet with just the sound shifter. Here it is solo. And here it is with the other bass clarinet. I'll do it again. Here's with the regular bass clarinet. Write it so that it becomes a very thick score. Okay, and now here I will just put everything in. Okay, here's the oboe, oboe the octave, bass clarinet, bass clarinet, octave. instruments both doubled an octave lower. Now they'll come back in all of them. So again, you get the idea? Sound shifter. Very useful plug-in. It's great on saxophones, it's great to make a trumpet sound like a trombone, 
You can even take a flugel horn and kind of get a French horn sound. So it's a very versatile plug-in. And again, time is money. Sometimes you have to be very quick and you can't spend too much time. Sometimes I'll get a project and I'll say, can you give this to me in an hour and a half? So I'm trying to just lay everything in there, record every instrument, and get it back to them. So I do play a Shanai, I do have a Daduk, I have other ethnic instruments, but sometimes that takes me a day to get it together and warm up and get reeds going. So this is a quick uh, tool to help you. So, hope that was a good tip. Keep tuning in to ReadWorks. Glad to help you. Bob Mangson. Email me with any questions.